Hello and welcome to City Skylines 2. Today I am going to be talking you through commercial buildings where you have zoned an area, but they are not building. There are multiple reasons for this. Number one, building in the wrong area. Let me talk you through what I mean by wrong area. So if you have a look on the top left hand side, you have... Uh, commercial suitability and customer numbers. So commercial suitability, if you look at the network colour, which means the road colour, if it's bright green, it's good. If it's red, it's bad. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any red here to show you. Um, so again, apologies about that. But what I do have to show you is the terrain colour which shows you if there are low or high customer rates. So let's zoom in. You can see here, I'm just going to move to my mouse. This is dark green, meaning there are a good number of customers for this area. But if we move over here, you can see I have a zoned area, zoned commercial area, and nobody is building there. And that is because... There are low customers in that area. So let's rezone that area. So I am going to use the fill tool, hover over it, click the right mouse button, and now it's unzoned. Now let's go and pick an area which has a high customer base. So like for example, right here. And we do left click to rezone and like by magic we're getting we're getting uh buildings come in people want to move into this area now can you see here we have an area why i asked myself why has nobody built in this section we've got three immediately popping up well one use a little bit of patience wait for buildings to come up the property rent, the rent for these properties are very much based on the size of the zones that you do. Um, you can change the size of the size of the zones by using the marquee or the paint tool. So instead of filling a whole area, you can do tiny little buildings if you need to. And this will provide a much lower rent option for businesses to move into the area the rent here is going to be much smaller than the rent here or here and that provides different types of businesses different opportunities to move to this location so this organization they're a textiles company whereas this one is going to be a food organization that sells food so it needs a much larger area this one here is petrochemicals so that's going to be a, a, a fuel station right opposite another one that's going to be interesting lots of competition in the area and then if we move back over here where we zoned let's see what would work in this area so would residential work in this area now if you have a look network color good ground pollution is low so this would be a perfect place to put housing Let's have a look at office buildings. Office suitability. Bad or good? The answer's good. So in this instance, I am going to actually zone some office buildings. So I'm going to look at just doing a few myself. Different sizes, and I'll do one big one there. And in time, once people want to move in, these will start building up. And it's exactly the same if we look at this. Why is this residential area not building? Now, it's a very good question. Because if you have a look at the residential suitability, it's good. The ground pollution is low. But if we have a look, we may be zoning the wrong type of housing. So you can see here... Um, We've got happiness, we've got available jobs, but what we don't have is enough low density, still we don't have enough low density buildings. 
we have possibly zoned in here the wrong type of housing. So we are going to just use the fill. We're going to unzone it. And then we're going to do some low density housing. But just beware. You see here is only there's only a few which are okay for or good, I should say. Then it starts to go to okay suitability for housing. We're going to go to the marquee tool. We're going to do some low, smaller size houses. So it's not going to cost as much for these houses to be built. And then we're going to do a couple of mediums. Because this, again, it's changed colour. It is okay and good to build in this area. But you'll see we'll start to get some new buildings come up. This is just about right. So we'll do a nice, a bigger plot. We can't put any here because this, it's not connected to the road. But here we can. And you'll start to see these all populate. And now you can see the businesses are coming up. That is because we've checked the area first. We've rezoned. We've reevaluated. And remember, people, the areas will change as the city changes. The value of the rent will go up, which will make it unmanageable for some people. So you do need to keep on zoning areas for high earners, for medium earners, and for people that are on the breadline. Make sure to keep your city available to all. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on City Skylines 2. Bye for now.